people left at Guantanamo. Um, 50, uh, 70 of them have already been cleared for release. Over half of them have already been cleared for release years ago, but we're still holding them. Of the 70 cleared for release, 58, I believe, were from Yemen. Uh, there are 40 that the United States says um, that they are, what we've done to them is so bad that we can never even put them on trial because they'll tell what we've done to them. That's essentially what it is. Uh, there have been seven in the last six months who have been released, and they were cleared for release years ago. Uh, I think three of them are from Algeria. Um, well, so in the last six months, finally, there's been some movement on a few people being released. Uh, right now, in federal court, not in Guantanamo. You know, how many, how many trials have happened in Guantanamo from the military commissions? Five. Five out of 799 people that were in Guantanamo. Is the hunger strike still on? Yes. Yes, there are people Before still on a hunger strike <coughs> and some being forced fed. Mm. But I'll just mention, you know, the, the U.S. government keeps saying these people are just too dangerous to be in, in federal court. Well, right now in federal court in New York City, the son-in-law of Osama bin Laden is being tried in federal court. Mm -hmm. Tried in federal court. And we don't even know where he's been kept over the last many years. He, he, we do know that he was in Iran, and it, it'll be very interesting to know if the U.S. government will ever acknowledge that the Iranians handed him over to the United States. That would be not too good for the U.S. demonizing of Iran to acknowledge that perhaps that's happened. Could Obama call uh, Guantanamo? Some say he could do it if he would. Uh, Obama could release all of the people who have been cleared for release, which is the majority of them, and that would go a long way to closing Guantanamo. Then there would only be a small number left that he would have to fight with Congress to get them transferred to the U.S., but I think it would be easier once it was a very small group left in Guantanamo, uh, especially because of the, the cost of over $2 million per year per prisoner to keep that place open. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention about Guantanamo is that uh, this is not lost on the rest of the world. And I myself and I would uh, probably assume um, my colleagues up here have found out that when we're being held in other countries, like I was in Egypt just recently, and I said, you can't hold me without telling me why? And they said, oh, look at what your government does, look at Guantanamo. <laughs> And uh, when I was in Canada being held, I said, you got to tell me why. You can't just hold me for nothing. They laughed and they said, what about Guantanamo? Yeah. So it's a terrible thing that we are doing to these prisoners, and it's a terrible blight. And we are really giving a green light to other countries to do the same thing. How can we convince Obama? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get you there. <laughs> and also, Bagra. Uh, which is a huge military complex with an airfield and a large prison outside of Kabul is another place where prisoners are held. And um, recently, the Afghan government insisted that we're going to release uh, about uh, a number of prisoners. I think the United States is quite upset, saying we can't release them. We've got evidence, and uh, the Afghan government is saying well, your evidence doesn't hold up for us, and we're going to release them. So. Um, people get swept up in night raids. They Thank you. are sometimes um, targeted uh, to because of drone surveillance, and, and then they end up in these prisons, and it can take many, many, many months before they ever go before a military tribunal. So this is a, uh, another reason why there's antagonism and great anger toward the U.S. Yeah.